guys. We need to talk about what happened the night of the shooting. Mara says that she felt dazed that night, um, kind of out of it. Did either one of you feel that way? Yeah, dazed is actually a really good way of describing it. Both of you? Yeah, it was weird. Yeah, I'm, I actually didn't start feeling normal again until we went back to the museum, right? Yeah, same here. Okay, so did you guys, um, you had dinner together? Did you share a drink or something? No, Harley, what are you getting at? Mara was drugged. A drug called antimonious. You think all three of us were drugged? By Carrie. I think it's a very strong possibility. Okay, that was the drug that she was telling us about, the one that they found. But the thing is, we didn't see Carrie at all that day. I mean, not at least till we went to the funhouse. Well, that doesn't mean she didn't see you, though. Okay, yeah, so, so, so tell me, tell me about your day. Tell me everything that took place from when you met to, till you got to the fairgrounds. Um, okay, I worked at the hospital from 7 to 3, um, and then I met Robbie and Danny at the park across the street afterwards. Mm -hmm. uh, Shane and I hung out at the museum. We made tuna fish salad for lunch, uh, watched part of As the World Turns. Uh, yeah, what else to then? Well, do we meet up with you? I know you did the uh, the hot air balloon, right? Yeah. Okay, now I know you did it just for fun, but I mean, was it romantic too? Or I know it was uh, it was fun. I don't know. Maybe I should do some sky riding or something. You know, have a little or, or go to the beach. Go to the beach. I go to the beach. Have a nice little picnic. You know, some nice that little sounds great. Bottle though. of wine. Sounds great. So beautiful. Whatever you want to do. Can we get back to the campaign, please? Hey, listen. Are you uncomfortable because the whole, oh, this whole thing makes you uncomfortable, or? Uh, you just not like eating. Phil. Danny, seriously. Seriously, I'm not uncomfortable. I'm not. <laughs> no, okay, I'm right. just. I got, I got you. I got you. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm not I'm going to drop it. I'm going to drop it. I'm happy for you. I really you know, am. I thanks. wish you and Eden all the best. Well, thank you. I do. Look, you'll work out this engagement thing. You will. Well, I better. <clears throat> you will. So, you want to talk uh, details about this fundraiser or what, huh? Hey, it was your idea. Yeah, well, let's then do let's, so. let's do something there. Okay. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Just uh, do me a favor. Name it. Don't mention this conversation to, well, anyone. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. You got it. Rings. Uh, Carrie wore a ring that had a scarab on it. Wait, I why saw are we suddenly talking about rings? Were there more? Yeah, yeah, but, but it, oh, my God. Oh, my God, we, we, we were all wearing the rings. Describe them. What did they look like? Uh, just like Carrie's. Well, do you still have them? Yes, I do, at my house. Well, then, let's go. I put them over here. I'm just glad you kept them. I was going to get rid of those creepy things. They're gone. What? The rings are gone. Carrie might be alive, sneaking around. I don't even want to think about what okay, she might have planned for Okay, let's just keep the Walking Dead talk to a minimum, okay? Michelle, when is the last time you remember seeing those rings? Um, can I see it? No, 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 no. Please, just let me, let me get it. Because if uh, Carrie touched it, I can get some prints off it. Oh, this is not happening. Carrie cannot be alive. Look, nobody saw how badly injured she was. But they saw her hit, right? Fall through the trap door. That was the story. But if Carrie's alive... Then Mara didn't shoot if her. Carrie's alive, then she's gonna want revenge. Danny! Enjoy the rest of your night, okay? Thank you. Nice turnout, huh? I smell money in the air. You may get to be mayor yet. You make the right people happy. Danny, Danny, what's the problem, huh? What's the problem? I told you I never want to see your face in this town again. Well, we don't always get what we want. Wait a minute, I take that back. Sometimes we do. The papers say you're doing okay, down a little bit in the polls, but you're coming mm -hmm. back, huh? Yeah. Hey, come on, what are you looking all around for? What, are you embarrassed by your old friends? Vinny, we were never friends. I never liked working with you. I never cared for you much at all. You're the past, Vinny. A dinosaur who doesn't realize he's already extinct. Now, if you'll excuse me,
ahead. Hey, I'm, hey, I'm surprised to see you here. What's... I thought you might be. Well, um, yeah. Michelle's not here. Um, do you want me to tell her that you stopped by? So what, are you trying to rush me out? What's going on? No, I'm not trying to... It's just, what if the reporters try to ask you a question? Like what? Who am I going to vote for? Well... I guess I'd have to tell them I'm going to back my son-in-law the whole way. What? Um... But I thought... Okay, this is different. Thank you. Well, I'd say you're welcome, but that would make me sound kind of pompous. I think you're going to make a terrific mayor. I just thought that you and Ross, because you were... A man can change his mind. He can, but not if he doesn't have to. See, I think I do have to. I owe you this. I think you deserve to have your entire family behind you. Well, thank you. This means a lot. See, Danny, you fight harder than anyone in this world to make my daughter happy and to keep her safe. I used to think that maybe you weren't quite exactly the man that I'd have imagined for her. But I've come to realize that you are. It's just the packaging had me confused for a while. But your actions are very clear. So thank you. Hey, hon. How you doing? I'm, uh, surprised to see you here, wearing a campaign button. Yeah, I've decided to throw my less than considerable support to your husband. And what about Ross? You'll be fine. You all right? Yeah, I'm okay. You sure? Uh, there's, um... Something that you need to know, and it's about Carrie. Are you sure about this? I don't want to jump to any conclusions. Well, neither do I, Dad, but we have to consider the possibility that Carrie's still out there. No one found a body, and no one knew where I had hidden those rings. I can't stand this. If that woman is still alive, I know, I'm... I know, but Harley's investigating it, and the police are all over it, so all we can do is just hope for the best. I'm through letting Carrie run my life. I'm going to let the police do their jobs, and we'll do ours, which is win this election. And now, with you on board, our chances just went up. Yeah, by one vote. There she is, everybody, the future first lady of Springfield. <laughs> My whole night just got a whole hell of a lot better. Just, I'd like to add one more thing before we call tonight, now that I have my beautiful wife by my side. I'd like to say that we have put the past behind us and we are not looking back because the future holds so much in store for us and nothing is gonna get in our way, nothing.